Well, David, Rory and Josh, thank you very much for talking to News Talk Live this evening. Um, how did you find the Movember experience? David, let's start with you. Uh, amazing, actually. Uh, uh, and just people's generosity has been absolutely astounding. Um, having a really stupidly hairy face actually gets a lot of money in. And the Wasps Mobros, we managed to raise over £20,000. So it's been an incredible month. Rory? Um, obviously pushing Movember every year, but obviously having David at the club is has been a huge uh, emphasis and obviously he's driving it. So, yeah, it's been great and really enjoying it. And uh, Josh, you very resplendent with your moustache over there. How have, have you found the last month? On a personal level, it's obviously been a struggle being um, <laughs> quite baby-faced. It's been um, a tough month for me, but like Rory said, it's uh, getting behind David and it's been great, like David said, the generosity that people show and, and give to us has been amazing to raise such a great amount of money. Exactly. And I know that there's a, a serious issue to this and David it's very personal for you as well because yeah. you were diagnosed weren't you with prostate cancer this summer what happened? Well I actually because of my age I'm 50, uh, 56 now I was 55 then I just thought I had no symptoms I thought I'm at the mm -hmm. age where I should get myself tested and uh, my world fell apart and I was crushed on the 11th of June at seven minutes to three I will never forget it when I was told I'll never we forget found that date cancer. Or that time. Yeah and they said they'd found cancer. And um, I was stunned. I was absolutely stunned. So uh, on the 16th of September, I had my prostate removed by a gentleman who unbelievably is also a WASP season ticket holder. <laughs> he looked uh, after you then, no doubt. Thank heavens he wasn't Harlequins or London Irish, is all I'm <laughs> saying. And, and it's been an incredible journey. And actually, as he said, the worst part of it is being diagnosed and told you've got it. And he was absolutely right. And, you know, um, my message to, to guys out there is go and get yourselves checked. I could have gone on with no symptoms and gone on for another two or three years and had a very serious outcome. Because, Rory, I mean, and you too, Josh, you're both very young guys, but still it's, a, it's an issue that, that were you aware of before? Have you learned a lot from doing this and from supporting David? I think obviously over the years, this Movember has grown so much that it kind of has put you in a position where you do think about it a lot more. Um, but it's great for us now, obviously, to have David there who's kind of been through this and, and you think to yourself, well, you know, maybe this time I get a check or other people around you just promote it that little bit more. So it's obviously a great cause and it's going to help us in the future. Because the, the feeling is, Josh, that men are really bad, you guys are really bad at getting your health, your health checked, aren't you, compared to maybe some women. And I suppose on the sports field, it might be even worse. I don't know. It's, it's not the easiest subject to talk about, is it? Really? Definitely. I think, obviously, being a rugby player, everyone wants to be that masculine image and going to get checked out, you might be seen as being a wuss and, and these kind of things. But it's definitely something with kind of the help of Movember over the years has built up kind of just everyone's knowledge of the issue and mm -hmm. showing that people do need to get themselves checked out. Because like David said, he could have gone on for another two to three years and then the outcome would have been a lot worse. Luckily, he got that early diagnosis and that, that's helped him a lot. So I think it's definitely something that men across the country and across the world need to take that first step. And is that message getting through, David? Because we were just saying that uh, is it 2030 or the date you gave, you told me that yeah. prostate cancer can be the biggest cancer in this country? Yeah, I mean, currently, um, Prostate Cancer UK has done some research and, and prostate cancer is the biggest cancer in men now. But it will be overall the biggest cancer in the UK by 2030. And that's a staggering figure when you think about it. So, yeah, the one thing about Movember is it wants people to have conversations and talk about it and make it something that's OK to talk about. Because as we've said, you know, it's, it's one of those taboo subjects and men don't want to talk about how you get the test done and everything else. But actually, do you know what? It saves your life.